Hi, everyone. I am Yolanda Harper, co-founder of Harper Therapy. We are a mental health practice in the Tampa Bay area in Lutz, Florida. And I am so excited to be appropriately social, physically distanced from Jennifer Schapp, who is a licensed marriage and family therapist with us at Harper Therapy. But I'm so thankful that we have technology that even through you know, a global pandemic that we're still able to connect virtually and that you're able to share with us some tips today. So Jen is going to talk to us about how to use mindfulness to spread positivity through this time. Every day we want to come on live and we want to share just little tips of how to, how we can all get through this crisis that we're living through. So um, Jen's got some great tips on using mindfulness and Mindfulness, I guess a definition would be, you know, being in the present moment and accepting what's happening, right? Yeah, I would say that's a probably a pretty good uh, definition of it. And really what like inspired me to think of these tools is kind of my own experience with uh, the coronavirus stuff. I was, I saw some quote on Facebook about kind of like, instead of us living, like thinking about what's going to be in the past, like getting through this kind of the idea of like, living in the moment through it and trying to focus on more of those positive aspects because this kind of is like our here and now. So that's what really led me to this positivity and mindfulness type of aspect. Um, so the first tool I kind of want to say is just acknowledge your emotions. We're gonna, I want to talk about positivity, but I want to start and say like, whatever you're feeling in this moment, that is okay. If you are angry, if you are sad, if you are frustrated, you have every right to feel any of those emotions. And um, yeah, you and I were just talking about the roller coaster of emotions that has been like all of our experience lately, right? I mean, because it is like in one moment we can we can feel like, okay, I'm I'm here, I'm present, everything is, you know, okay in this moment. And then like nosedive into anxiety and panic and then you know the grief that kind of we're all experiencing with the loss of the way that things were i mean it's a lot yeah i agree it definitely is a lot i mean personally for me i've had like a roller coaster of emotions as i was telling you each day is kind of different in fact each hour is a little bit different for me mm -hmm. um, so yeah i think it's just important to kind of acknowledge and not make those emotions wrong because this is a hard time and we are allowed mm -hmm. to feel those those type of emotions. Mm -hmm. um, also to kind of help recognize, um, this is kind of where I would incorporate the mindfulness, is maybe you're not quite sure how you're feeling. And this might not be a tool that um, you're as familiar with, but we can look inward in our body and kind of notice like, where where am I feeling it right now? Is it like my stomach pain? Is it like a chest tightness? That can kind of help us like tone into like, what am I feeling in this moment? Is it more anxiety, sadness? And once you kind of determine that, you can kind of figure out like, well, so that's where the self-care comes in. What do I need to do in this moment to take care of myself? Maybe yeah, I yeah, I think that we we forget that, you know, emotions are called feelings for a reason and they can give us some information and lead to like, what do I need in this moment? And what and that's exactly the definition of self-care. Yes, exactly. I saw another quote that's like self-care isn't a privilege, it's necessity. Mm -hmm. and sometimes we think it's a privilege to be able to go and slow down. I think that we have um, a lot of, of different ways of viewing self-care that our society has told us, you know, like self-care equals massage or getting your nails done or getting your, you know, highlights and your hair done. And those things are good. And there's nothing wrong with those. But, you know, the self-care that we're talking about is really being attuned to what is happening right now. What do I need in this moment? Exactly. So maybe yeah. with that you need to go take a walk. Maybe you just need to go take some like me time and do like a bubble bath if like you have a bathtub in your house or apartment. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's not you. It doesn't have to be one of those big glamorous things of like yeah. I'm treating myself. Well, and no, and sometimes self care is I need to turn the news off. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I think those are just kind of good starting points of like just kind of getting back to that like grounded space. Mm -hmm. um, and. I want to kind of discuss that there's a lot of stuff outside our control and normalize that, that, um, yeah, we, we don't know when this is going to be over and we don't know when we're going to be able to leave our houses. And, you know, a lot of times people are struggling with the feeling of feeling safe, but, um, I would encourage people to kind of notice like 
what things are in your control right now kind of shift your perspective um and kind of notice that maybe like today in your control you got to cook one of your favorite meals um you get to choose which news media you want to tune into kind of like you're talking about like turn it off you get mm -hmm. to kind of decide things in your day how you want to spend your day um mm -hmm. and kind of focusing on kind of like those type of things yeah that's important to remember that there are there's lots that's that is outside of our control right now but there are still plenty of things that are inside of our control exactly so helping kind yeah. of like shift that focus um mm -hmm. along with that idea the idea of um gratitude which mm -hmm. is something that i really struggle with uh mm -hmm. taking that time maybe it's like when you wake up to kind of recognize like what kind of things are you grateful for at this moment and mm -hmm. um, I don't say that to make it feel like you can't like feel sad about what's happening, but mm -hmm. um, there is probably a lot of positive things that um, you can feel grateful about. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I'm taking gratitude to be like, I have a little bit more downtime at this time. So I get to really focus a little bit more on me. I get to focus mm -hmm. a little bit more on learning more skills. Uh, reading mm -hmm. books I want, taking a mm -hmm. little bit more downtime. I know during the, like uh, mm -hmm. when I was busy, like, you know, it's a lot more like rushing around, but I'm taking yeah. the time of gratitude and be like, you know what, this is really nice that I have some downtime and time for me to just decompress and maybe utilize some mindfulness or slow yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. And that gratitude is where the positivity comes in, right? Yeah, exactly. And maybe like if you have kids at home, kind of feel like your gratitude can maybe be along with the lines that my kids are driving me crazy. The yeah. idea that like it's really nice that I get to spend more time with my kids. I yeah. Get to really learn more about their interests. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. That's yeah. great. Yeah. And then um, next thing I want to focus on is recognizing your areas of strength um, during this time that maybe you have more free time gives you time for some more reflection um, and recognizing like, what is something I did really good today? Maybe it's that I didn't snap at my kids today or mm -hmm. I didn't communicate effectively with my husband, or mm -hmm. maybe you're just recognizing areas that you feel like you're really strong in. Like maybe you're like, wow, I realize I'm really good at like organizing or I'm really good at living in chaos. Mm -hmm. um, kind of taking that time to reflect and be like, what what is positive about myself today? Yeah, yeah, that's great. I love that. Yeah. And then um, the last one is taking time for creativity. Um, we have, if again, if you have this more downtime, it's a great time to kind of um, hone in on that creativity that maybe you haven't really had time to put in. Um, Brene Brown, who I've been listening to, uh, mentioned that creativity is a way to kind of be more of a wholehearted person and can actually increase positivity in your life. Yeah, a lot of us kind of um, in our in the busyness of our lives, creativity goes by the wayside. So now is a great time to kind of step back into whatever creativity looks like for each of us, whether that's drawing or painting or dancing or cooking or gardening. and. Um, yeah, and that's a good release of those intense emotions too, like that creative outlet can be. Yeah, exactly. And um, I just love that because like, I think sometimes we're so busy in our lives that we don't take time mm -hmm. to really just like slow down and do some fun stuff and uh, yeah. ex like explore our creativity. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a great moment to do that. So yeah, those are kind of like all the tools I have today about utilizing mindfulness and spreading positivity and kind of just trying to change a little bit of our perspective from focusing all on negatives to kind of noticing what some positives are around us. And we all could use a little bit more creative, a little bit more positivity around it. Creativity too, but positivity, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jen. Yeah, of course. All right. Thanks guys for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful. And um, if you have questions about or would like some tips on certain aspects of how to get through COVID-19 with emotional, mental and relational uh, well-being and health, then drop them in the comments and let us know how we can support you. Um, otherwise, I hope that you guys have a great day and we will talk with you soon. Bye. Bye.